I'm here to help. Brittany wants advice about bad behavior. Where's Brittany? Hi, Brittany. Hi, Steve. Okay. My daughter, she really is a perfect child, but whenever I take something away from her, she screams, she hollers, and she's only six months. It really terrifies me how she will act when she gets older. How I mean, can I get a handle on this? How, how, how bad does it get? Well, I actually brought you a video so you can see her in action. <laughs> no. no. That ain't that bad. You know, <laughs> at six months old, when you take something from a child, you're gonna get this. That you was know. the clean version. That was the clean version. Was she cuss? <laughs> 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 what the hell's going on? Here's what I did. This is how I broke my kids from the tantrum. First of all, they six months. So what I would do is, like, if my kid, if I take something from my kid and they start crying, you know what I do? I act like I'm looking at something else. When they start crying, they go, ah, I go, what? What is, where is that at? What are you talking about? And kids is nosy. So they go, ah! <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It works like a charm. The other thing I do is I don't buy into the screaming stuff. I'm, now you, you, you're going to scream by yourself. So this is what they do. I'm standing here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Leave her right there. Okay. Let me tell you something. You can ask any parent. They're going to stop the yelling. Because if you're not buying into it, if you don't feed it, there's no reason to yell. If I don't get your attention, I don't get nothing for yelling, they got to stop yelling. Yelling gives you a headache. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Steve. No, thank you. Thank you. All right, our next question came through uh, my Twitter account, actually. Uh, Carly tweeted, how do you feel about women proposing to men? Carly's here. Hi, Carly. Hi, Steve. Uh, are you thinking about popping the question? I am. I've been dating my boyfriend, Kevin, for nine years now. Uh, <laughs> we talk about getting married all the time, and he says he wants to wait so he can get me a really nice ring. But I'm really tired of waiting, and I'm thinking of asking him myself. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Nine years? <laughs> Nine years. You gonna ask him yourself? Yeah. Come here, let me ask you something. <laughs> look, look, it may be a new age. I'm all for women's lib. I'm all for women getting equal pay. I'm all for women getting the promo. I'm, I'm for women, period. I really, really am. But some stuff. You just don't need to tamper with. We are hunters by nature. That's our nature. He's been hunting you for nine years. The only reason you're not married yet is because you haven't demanded a wedding day. But since you haven't demanded a wedding day, let me tell you something. This is your lucky day because this is ask, Steve, and receive. Now, See, what a... See. Yeah. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? Well, you know, sometimes you never know how it's going to happen. Let me turn you around here. Let me see you something. That's right on up here. Carly Bear, you are my best friend. I love everything about you. I love your smile. I love your laugh. I love the smell of your hair. You are my first love, 
and you're my last love. You gotta show the ring. See, you didn't, you didn't put, no yeah, you, you, you didn't even put it on. So sorry. I don't even know what you're doing. Uh, this hand over here. What y'all doing? You just shaking. What? You want to get married? Don't know what hand it go on. You gotta show them the ring. Gotta let them, let them see that. There you go. Pulse up on that baby right there. Get that. Turn that thing around right there. I want to say thanks to my friends at Robbins Brothers, the engagement ring store, for hooking it up for us. Good luck to Kevin and Carly. We'll be right back.